This is the YouTube history of Creecraft so, he just was a normal kid played video games like every kid actually. He did have eye surgery when he little which was very sad but other than that, he was average kid but where did the YouTube part come from well, he wanted to learn computer stuff so, he wanted to make videos but he had no ideas what to make videos of until he realizes his favorite game he played was Minecraft so, he decided the idea of making Minecraft videos and obvious they didn't do well in the beginning cues at the end of the day he was still a new youtuber but he didn't give up in fact his quality of videos started to go up cues they were awful in the begging and then when they started improving his Minecraft mods videos started getting 100k views which back then getting that in like one day is actually insane so what happened was YouTube signed him as a YouTube partner manager basically means you can ask questions about YouTube if you of course have any and oh boy did he have questions about YouTube all right but his partner manager suggested that he started streaming but of course he never streamed before but it was not going to hurt to try and mainly he did not want to cues obviously it was scary for him to go live and actually can't blame him but also cues he was so insecure but when he did stream and change his whole YouTube career forever and people found him entertaining, and people just love watching him play Minecraft for hours and hours and he loved interacting with his fans from over over the globe and he made a lot of fans too which he was too afraid to do before and then Roblox started to get popular at that time after a while of him streaming Minecraft people told him daily to play Roblox and he just thought it was just a stupid kids game that no one would want to watch and he was wrong. And he started playing Roblox and they just everything took off for him after that and then Roblox had a huge event called the Ready Player One event which was a month long scavenger hunt that Roblox made based on the Ready Player One movie and he played the scavenger hunt on stream for 5 hours every single day of that month and that when his channel went viral and that's also where he met his fiancé Tilda copyright called Kayla and his channel continued continue there and then he started playing the game piggy then his channel gained 1 million subs in 3 months and yeah that's the rise of the best roblox ebert consider one of the funniest roblox ebers and he still is funny that will never change i'll let you guys watch the rest of the video only 5 years ago that my career would revolve around robbing banks in a roblox game and that i'd meet my fiance playing roblox i would have told you you're crazy yeah, here we are. Today, full of ups and downs, but you know, at this single moment in time, my life really couldn't be any better. I, I play video games for a living, I'm going to college to learn programming, and I have an amazing girlfriend. I've been able to do some incredible things in my 22 years alive, things that not many people get to do in an entire lifetime, and I'm very thankful for everything. You know, my, my, my single greatest wish as a kid was to change the world someday. And up until this point, I always envisioned changing the world as pulling off some incredible feat that changes society in some big way. One giant action that everyone would remember and that would go down in history books forever. But you know, I, I think I was wrong. Changing the world doesn't have to be about some giant action that makes the world stop and stare in disbelief. It, it can just be as simple as making entertaining videos that make people happy. Because there's a lot of really bad stuff in the world right now. There's there's a lot of unhappiness, a lot of sadness, and it gets really hard sometimes for a lot of people. And I think by just being able to make people happy or even take their mind off the sadness, even if it's just for 10 minutes every day, I think that goes a long way. And I'm, I'm thankful and proud that I have the opportunity to do that. So that's my plan for this decade. Keep making videos, keep making people happy, and hopefully I can inspire others to do the same. What is my favorite part of the video making process? Brainstorming, filming, or posting? Um, I, I like streaming. I, I mean, I, I'm sure video, uh, you know, obviously video and streaming have completely different 
flows, right? With a video, you have to record it, you have to edit it, you have to post it. Streaming, however, um, I, I just like that because it's interactive, it's live. I don't have to worry about editing anything. Um, it is what it is, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, but it's it's more interactive and fun to me. What is my favorite video that I've posted? So I don't think I have one favorite video, but more so like a series. Um, live streaming the Ready Player One event on Roblox back in, man, when was that? 2017, 2018? It was some, somewhere around there. That was probably one of the most fun uh, events I've ever done, uh, especially on YouTube. And um, just streaming that whole event on Roblox, every single live stream was, was really, really great. And I'm uh, really happy I got to do that. What do I find the most challenging about social media in today's world? I think it's mostly just keeping up with it because there's so many social media platforms. And I feel like as a YouTuber, you have to stay not only on top of all of them, right? Like I have to know what's going on, uh, you know, in the realm of gaming, in the realm of YouTube. And so you really have to kind of like constantly be in the know and on social media and um you know just just reading up on everything right like it, it can be very easy to kind of just fall behind on like new features or new updates to a game because there's just so much stuff going on all over every platform and it can be um pretty stressful trying to keep up with it all what is one accomplishment that i'm the most proud of um probably uh honestly I, 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 this is such a weird answer, I guess, but being, I, I guess, financially stable, because like growing up, I had a single mom, you know, uh, we didn't really have a lot of money. So being able to, um, you know, being able to support myself, uh, you know, put myself in college, um, not have to, you know, make my mom work extra hard to be able to afford that. Um, that's probably the, uh, the, the number one thing I'm proud of. Um, you know, obviously, I, I, I try to work as hard as I can. Um, and I'm pretty, I, I guess I'm proud of my work ethic. I guess I guess I could say that. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? Ooh, um, it, this is such a weird answer because I, I think most people would probably go for like flying or like super strength or something. But I'd probably go with the ability to read minds, right? Because if you could read minds, you could literally make anybody do anything. Because everybody's got that one thing that they don't want anyone to find out about, right? And if you can, it, this this is, sounds so evil. <laughs> I will take your biggest regrets and I will manipulate them and control you with them. <laughs> that's, that's what I'll do. Welcome to being a YouTuber. How do I like to spend my spare time? Um, the spare time I have is usually spent uh, playing video games and watching movies. I'm a big fan of horror movies. Uh, so I, 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 yeah, it's it's nice. It, as, as weird as it sounds to relax the horror movies, I do find horror movies pretty relaxing to just sit down, you know, lay in bed, eat some popcorn, and watch a scary movie, right? What are some of my favorite movies? Um, big, big Marvel fan. Uh, my favorite movie of all time is probably Endgame. Nothing is ever going to beat the excitement of being in a movie theater opening night to Avengers Endgame. Everybody's screaming and clapping.